Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Today we're gonna look at styluses for the iPad. Now I'm a self-proclaimed stylus expert and have done and bought, uh, obviously as you can see, a lot of different styluses. Um, today we're gonna be going through some of the more popular iPad stylus alternatives. And the purpose of this is for note taking, not for drawing. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, and I will just say this right at the beginning so you can skip past the whole video if you want, if you're drawing, get the Apple Pencil. Don't waste your time on the uh, Adonit Note or other ones that are, you know, 60-70% of the price. This one I think was about 60 bucks. Absolutely not worth it. Not that it can't draw and do some of the nicer um, um, quality lines, but for an extra 20-30 bucks, you're getting the Apple Pencil, which works perfectly, and, and everything, and this does not. Okay, so for note-taking, what are the best choices? Well, one of my big gripes with the Apple Pencil, and I don't think I have Bluetooth turned on, so let's go ahead and turn that on quickly. Uh, by the way, if you're testing multiple Apple Pencils, or multiple pencils, and you have um, Bluetooth, and you have... Uh, Bluetooth on, the Apple Pencil will not let you use the other pencils. It's kind of like a playground bully. It likes to slide. All right, there we go. It's connected. And let's go back into OneNote. All right, so here you can see uh, how this works. So for note-taking, You'll hear that's the sound of the Apple Pencil. Almost all of the rest of these sound this way, except this one. This is the same one, different color. And this is actually the one that I prefer. So let's look at how the lines draw. Uh, for me, the drawing experience was uh, actually quite different for, for a couple of these. So the ones I reviewed in the last one, I did the iPad Writer Stylus. And, I'm sorry, the Stylus Pen for iPad with Palm Rejection. And I reviewed this very pretty one, which I think is the best choice for kids. And this one's the iPad Writer Stylus. So it's got this full unibody tip, and it's not completely unibody. You can actually twist this off. All of these have replaceable tips. But this is one that a kid can smash against things, and it's not going to break. And uh, it's magnetic if you have an iPad Pro, but don't give your iPad Pro to a child. Um, you know, in my opinion. All right, so here, let's go ahead and again, turn off Bluetooth and get back into it. All right, so this one, So some of these will draw a little bit higher over the screen, which is one of the issues that I brought up in the last video. Uh, this one does not. This is actually pretty close to the screen, but one of the things that you can notice when there's um, the hover distance is a little bit too close is that it's going to add little fishtails to the line. So like that little hook right there. And it'll drag one line into the other. This is my handwriting, so it looks like this either way. All right, and this one is an older version of the UOGIC. All right, UOGIC old. This is the one millimeter tip. All right, and here we are with the stylus pen.
So these lines are with me not touching the screen. And this one has, it has the hooks as well. This is the uh, stylus pen. All right, the Adonant Note, which does work nicely in a couple programs, but it tends to get lost. Like when I'm drawing with it, it'll lose the connection and um, not very many programs use it. It's not that it's bad, it's just not worth it. And this is the Adonit Note Plus. All right, and here we have the iPad Writer Stylus. Again, this is my top choice for kids. And these are the ones that I like the most for note taking and for uh, if you're doing design work like in an affinity in affinity designer this would be my top choice and depending on the price point this might be my my top choice for um, anyone except for kids just because this little this little nib at the end is is pretty breakable they have replacements in the box but price point um, check the link in the description to get the price point um, all of these, by the way, all the links will be affiliate links. You can choose to make your own decision. All right, let's see. And I will try eventually to take whichever one I like the most and put it on my website and sell it directly, but I am not there yet. All right, so let's see here. And this is the UOGIC 0.06 millimeter. And this is new. And this has almost identical um, nib to the Surface Pro pen. So if you're familiar with that, um, it's very, very similar. So you can see the differences here. Um, the iPad stylus is longer than the Renacer one, but it's the same design, uh, different, different manufacturing plant as far as I know. Okay, so let's look at the Apple Pencil length here compared to all of these. You can see what that looks like, uh, considerably longer. And what was the other, the other long one? This one right here. So most of these are magnetic now, and um, that would be kind of uh, a nice addition, really only if you have the iPad Pro. The magnets for an iPad, it will um, attach to the top, but poorly. <laughs> so just get a case that has uh, a sleeve or something to put the stylus in. Um, if you have a one of the cheaper iPads, not the iPad Pro. Uh, all right, you guys, I'm going to be doing more videos, um, including the iPad and iPad styluses here in the future. Uh, I will be doing primarily Windows-based, but wanted to do a couple sections on iPad and uh, styluses for it. And I'm going to be going into my favorite drawing app, and it's not Procreate for the iPad. And it's based off of my Windows workflow, not necessarily the best. Well, you just have to watch.
All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have a wonderful day, and until next time, stay creative.